All right, next question is from Ashley. She says, as for a baby Christian, where in the Bible do we recommend to start? Um, I know most people say start in the New Testament. I recommend Genesis. I mean, really, I recommend Genesis. Start with Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, you know, just kind of go the way that, um, start there. Start with Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, you know, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, keep going all the way, you know, um, so you get to the New Testament. Um, you can also start with the New Testament, you know, and start with Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and then keep going. But, you know, either way, it doesn't really matter. The word of God is powerful. It's quick. Um, but I just always recommend Genesis, you know, just for me, because I feel like it gives you a nice foundation. Just the, I mean, there's so much revelation in Genesis and there's, there's so much that we've missed in Genesis as well, which is why most people don't really have a, a true understanding of the spiritual realm because most of the revelation, a lot of the revelation about it, about the spiritual realm are, is in Genesis, Isaiah, Revelation. Literally, like you study those three books and you have a full circle understanding of the supernatural realm, but also, um, yeah, the ways of God, the ways of God, um, which, you know, is there's a difference between knowing the acts of God, just kind of observing him from the outside and seeing how he acts versus actually knowing his ways. Um, so that's why I recommend starting from the beginning, start starting in Genesis. And, and make sure you're not reading it with the, you have to take off the glasses of everything you've ever been taught when you read it, okay? That's why we miss so much in there because we just read it and we still have the little, you know, Bible study stories in our mind when we're reading it. And because of that, we've missed so many things. Because of that, we miss the fact that there are two atoms in Genesis because of that, we miss the fact that there, the fact that there are two different creations. There were there were men that were created that did not have the spirit of God, then there were the men that were created by the earth, and then men that were actually created by God. All of that is in Genesis. We miss the fact that there was all this time between Genesis one and Genesis two, where there had been destruction, um, where God had wiped. Well, that's in the and that's that's actually the time when the, the dinosaurs were were washed up. Now that part is not in the Bible, but you can clearly tell there's years in between there. And then there's also another thing we miss in there is you know the difference between when men were operating and being born and operating according to the spirit of God. But then there was a part in I believe this is Genesis two when it said that men begin to now begin to be born after after Adam. Okay, so now their nature was no longer after God, but they begin to have a nature that was after Adam. So, so many different things in the book of Genesis. So I recommend starting there, but reading it like a baby that's never read word the Bible before without any preconceived notions and just read it for what it actually is saying. And then you'll see, you'll, you'll learn so much. Um, and of course, you know, just when you make sure you pray for the spirit of wisdom and revelation, you know, that the Holy Spirit will lead you as you're reading it. And so these words, you know, the words can actually come alive to you and then you have fun reading it. But yeah, I recommend Genesis for anyone that is starting in the word. Mm -hmm.